Hi guys, it's Alicia. Welcome to the channel if you are new and if you're a faithful subscriber, welcome home. So you guys, today I just kind of wanted to share um, a little bit of my design ideas that I have going on for some spaces in my home that I really want to change around and do a makeup over. I'm kind of getting over the hardcore um, um, farmhouse look. I still, look at my, look at my beautiful mommy. I still want to do, you know, some of those touches, and I still love those touches, and I still love the farmhouse style. I think for me, I just want to switch it up because I really just want to declutter some stuff, you guys. I just want to freshen some things up and do some, uh, you know, a few things different. And so I have some ideas, and I just want to share those ideas with you today, and then in upcoming videos, I will actually be doing those projects and getting those things done, and I'm really excited about um, those projects. So we'll start here in the family room, and I'll just let you guys get an overview of the family room, their dining room situation that we have um, going on here. But here in the dining room, I have you guys, first of all, let's start with these couches. I absolutely love these couches. I love, um, you know, the, that they're leather. I love this wooden, um, you know, accent here at the bottom of it. I absolutely love these nail heads in this. I just really like this furniture. And, um, but I do want something lighter. I just want to like, I don't have a lot of natural sunlight for this room. And I have loved having this dark furniture and I, and I do love this dark furniture, but I just want to, I want to brighten things up a little bit. I know we're going into the winter months, but I think bright furniture with warm tone pillows and throws, it'll just really make for a really cozy room. So originally I wanted a um, cream off-white sectional for this um, space. Um, and so I actually found one on um, make Marketplace that I was gonna purchase, um, but then I, you know, had some other things, you know, in mind that I wanted to do. And I ended up actually deciding, you guys, this is going to get you. I actually have a leather tent that I'm going to be able to actually do these couches over. So you will see me take these couches from this brown color to a lighter, creamier, whiter color. And I wanna share that whole process with you when I'm doing it. And um, one of the reasons that we decided we would do that is, um, you know, I was gonna, I hate waste. I'm not ready to part with this furniture because I really like it a lot, but um, there's nowhere else in the house to move it. I was gonna move it out to the back to my husband's, you know, to the sunroom, which my husband's man cave, so to speak. Um, but it's just, we, he built some window seat cabinet storage window seat for me that I, you know, out there. And there's just not really any room for them. Um, and there's no other place in the house that I wanna put them. Um, when I thought about doing the, um, the sectional, I di didn't want to go brand spanking new for a couple of reasons, and I'll show, well, for one, two, three, four, five reasons, and I'll show you one of the reasons here, and it is this. Oh my goodness, you guys, Louie. And then this pillow says, um, reserved for the dogs. You guys, I have pets. And I'm not one of those pet owners. I don't particularly care for my pets to be on the furniture, like the dogs and stuff, we will make them get down. However, sometimes if we're watching a movie or doing something like that and the dogs get up there to snuggle beside us, I welcome that. That's just me. Um, the cats, Louie, he owns this house. We just live here. Um, but he is always on all of the furniture. And then my daughter's two cats are here right now as well. And they are on the furniture Well, one did prefer the, the uh, perch, but prefers my bed. And um, so anyway, um, I wanted to just get one that was slightly loved so that I could have it and easily clean it. And I wouldn't be upset if I spent a lot of money on a couch and then my animals just kind of made it look a little more loved way sooner than it was actually loved. Um, and I didn't want a leather sectional. I just want that cozy. So anyway, 
I'm going to be redoing these couches and I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna have this furniture that I'm not gonna be upset if the animals are on it. And also, I'm not gonna be upset that I've spent a lot of money buying another couch um, when I know that my animals are gonna be on it. I'm still gonna be able to have the leather. So anyway, that's what I'm doing with the couch. Also, you guys, with these chairs, these are like Tommy Bahama. Um, chairs they're very sturdy I love the look of it but what I don't love the Sun is shining that what I don't it's not that I don't love it let me see if I can let you get a better look it's not that I don't love it I'm just ready for a change like I said I'm ready to lighten things up so I want these cushions to go from being black to being a more cream color and so I've ordered um, some things off Amazon and I'll share that with you when we are doing the makeover I will share those things with you what we're going to do to brighten these up a little bit and I think I'm going to absolutely love 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 it and it's going to give you an idea for what you could do if you want to brighten up cushions in your room and just make things a little bit lighter another thing is the um, TV console um, which is this piece of furniture right here. I ended up adding legs to this console and you know when of course when I was deep into the deep deep farmhouse um, and just really and I have loved it and I enjoy it but you guys to be honest with you I'm really thinking about removing those legs you know dropping it down and making it lower again I'm still on the fence about it not sure if I'm gonna do that and then of course I want to I'm contemplating actually painting that piece black. So we will see as things come along. The rug is new in here. I did buy a new rug that I was gonna swap it out for in here and then move this one to the dining table over here. Um, but I'm still kind of on the fence because I have one to match it over in the foyer. And so I'm kind of still playing around with if I want the two, the one here in the foyer and then this one here, whether or not I want them to stay the same or if I'm going to break that you know, monotony up and put a different one here and then move this one over to the dining room area. So that's my plan here. So you guys, I'm going to be showing you pictures of inspiration and things that I want to do, you know, for these, for this, for this room. So also I'm thinking about, um, my husband and I built these, um, tables here for these end tables. Let me let you get a look at those. I'm thinking about, I don't really want to get new ones because these are a perfect size for this room. You know, it'd be good if you guys could see me. This is a perfect size for this room, so I don't really want to change them out, but I'm thinking and I am contemplating um, whether or not I'm going to paint these black as well. So with the furniture being a lighter color, I don't want this to be light because then everything will be and I did, that's not the look I'm going for. I still want some warmth in here, and I'm going to bring that warmth in by, of course, through adding my pillows, my throws, which will be my browns, my darker colors. I'm going to bring in some some really pretty um, green in here, kind of what I have the the tone that I have over on the fireplace mantle for the stockings and the um, and the um, the garland and the Christmas tree and all that. And let me show that to you in case you guys haven't seen that. So you can just kind of get a look, I don't know, but just kind of, you know, some greens and those tones and then there's the tree. So yeah, so that's, that's the plan for this room and I will share that with you. And then the other part to this is, um, also the dining room area you guys i'm going to flip the camera around for this one so i can show you all of the what not to do's <laughs> in here there's a basket of laundry sitting over there in the corner you guys just ignore that my husband will sit the laundry there and let it sit there um when he's getting ready to fold it so anyways let me turn the camera around and show you my plans guys for here this is an overview of my dining room area again you guys can see where i'm heavy into the farmhouse i did start to swap out that style in my curio when i redid the items that i have in the curio and i love those but what i'm not in love with is the color of the curio anymore it's just I mean, it may look nice on camera, but guys, when you get up close to it, I've shown you this before, it's kind of this yellowish, oldish looking, it just, it's dated. It's just dated. And I really think that I can just give this a greater pop. But what I want to do is, you guys look over here. 
I have two curious, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like who needs all of this in one room? It's just too much. And so this is gonna go, this is gonna go. And there's the window that goes to our um, sunroom. I don't want that. Like, I don't like it being seen on this side because we don't utilize it as a window. So my plan is to paint this black and then I'm going to move this to this wall because it will cover that window, but will still allow airflow for that room because I won't push the curio all the way up against it. Um, but it's to move that. And then I have a piece and I'll insert a picture of my inspiration of a different buffet that I will put and a beautiful arched mirror that I have that I'll put on this wall. So we'll only have this piece, which will move here, and then we'll have a buffet piece for this wall here, which will be clear. And then I'm also going to redo this table. It has served its purpose, but once again, it is looking dated as well. So I let me, let me turn you guys back around so I can. Okay, so I have this product called Retique It. You can order it from Amazon. And Retique It is like a wood, I don't know if it's a paint or what, but what you're able to do with Retique It is you're able to basically paint over a surface and you get that wood, it has pieces of wood chips in it. And when it dries, you're able to stain it and your piece comes out like a wooden piece. So I plan on doing that to this table and making this table all one beautiful, harmonious color. And um, thinking about also doing something to the, to the fireplace mantle. So those are some of the plans that I have for this room, you guys. I'm excited about doing it. And so now let me just show you some pictures of my inspiration um, for this. Oh, I also ordered a chandelier um, one to go here. This chandelier is a piece from my mother-in-law, my mother-in-love um, that my husband's um, sisters so graciously gave us um, when she passed away. I love them so much. Um, but I am thinking of, I'm going to move this chandelier and I'm going to move it to the foyer. It, it puts off a lot of heat. So when we're eating dinner, we're literally sweating, you guys. I've changed out the bulbs. I've done everything, but it just gives off a lot of heat. So I'm going to be moving this to our foyer and then the pendant one that matches it that's in the foyer, I'm going to move to our um, bedroom. And then, oh, hold on a second. Okay, so I'm gonna be moving that pendant light to our bedroom, but not our bedroom, our bathroom in the shower area. I think it's gonna look really, really pretty there. And I ordered a chandelier and I'll give you, I'll show you a picture of the chandelier. I'll show you all the things, all the decoration um, inspiration for it. Um, but the chandelier is beautiful. It's black and like a brushed gold color. And I really think that it is going to allow me to be able to have um, the look that I'm going for, um, for in there. It'll, it'll be beautiful. It'll pull in color. It'll pull in texture, mixed metals, and it will all also allow us to have a ceiling fan there without it looking like a ceiling fan. So I'm excited about that too. So anyways, let me show you some of my design ideas and the things that I want to do in this room. So let's just head on over to my ideas and I'll show you those. For the living room, I plan to paint the leather sofas, keeping the contrast between the lighter color, the nail heads, and the wood. I'm adding lighter cushions to my two Tommy Bahama accent chairs, and I'll also be adding warm tones in pillows and throws and possibly painting my end tables black and adding warm tones to my decor on my black coffee table. I also want to paint the TV console black. For the dining room, I want to give the dining table a fresh look by using Retique It to give the table an all wood look. I love the look of an all wood table with black dining chairs. And I'll add a light planter with greenery to soften up the look. I also plan to do a DIY project to add a black buffet to the area on the wall that the china cabinet is on now. For my china cabinet, I plan on doing three things. I want to cover the window leading to the sunroom and I want to make it look built in by adding crown molding to give it that floor to ceiling look. 
I want to add some contrast with warm tones and create a backdrop for my curio items. I'll also be adding a fandelier to the dining room to give us an elegant light fixture with the added comfort of a ceiling fan. Okay guys, so these are just some of the projects that I'm thinking about doing in here, redoing these two rooms, getting them done, and then um, I'm gonna move on from there. I have a laundry room makeover that's coming up. I have some ideas for the pantry that I wanna do. These That's gonna be down the road um, some, but these are just some of the things that that I'm contemplating doing here um, in the home. And I just wanna share you, share it with you and bring you along on the journey while I'm getting these things done. And we're starting here. We're starting with these two rooms and then we'll move on from there. So anyways, again, if you're new to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and share the video. It really does help my channel. And also, you guys, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And until, I hope you guys had wonderful Thanksgiving. Things have been so crazy for me. I'm just, I'm gonna get my schedule together as far as uploading. Um, I had a video together for you guys that I was going to upload for you so that you could have it for Thanksgiving. And I was in the mountains for Thanksgiving with no reception, so I couldn't even get the video loaded. So, there's a video that's done that you guys probably will never see because I had no reception in the mountains. But anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, and you guys, until next week. <laughs> fingers crossed you guys enjoy the little things and don't remember don't forget it's all the little things that give us the sweetest prettiest little pleasure so until next week guys we'll see you later bye bye